Hi guys, I was just about to go to bed. It's uh, 9.35 p.m. here in California. A friend of mine in the Tahoe area just uh, posted on Facebook uh, about an active shooter in uh, Reno. Uh, checking out the Reno Gazette Journal. It's a uh, local Reno news publishing. I scroll down to the bottom to read the timeline. It's going to be going up. The original story says... Uh, this was at 7.39 p.m., so this was just uh, about 56 minutes ago. There's an active shooter in the Montage Apartments. Trooper Chris Kelly is with the Nevada Highway Patrol and says shots have been fired from the apartment complex for the last 20 minutes. Dozens of police cars are surrounding the complex with ambulances and SWAT vehicles. This is a... Uh, Video from the scene. This is 8 p.m. update. A suspect is barricaded inside the montage. A SWAT team is staging. Um, looking here at the uh, man at the scene, you can see the montage in the uh, in the background. And this Verizon ads reminded me I need to uh, install my ad blocker. Uh, Mike Pav Pavovich, uh, in town business from Las Vegas was walking down the fourth uh, was walking down fourth in front of El Dorado when he heard gunshots ring out. He said he ran into Frank Korshoff near the intersection of Sierra and Fourth. Frank had been on the top of El Dorado's garage when the shots rang out. When you heard it's coming from above and reminds you of the guy shooting from Mandela Bay, it's scary, you know. This is the same kind of town. Pavovich's wife was a nurse who was called in the night of the Vegas shooting. He was waiting to meet the friend to go climbing. He looked over the edge of the garage and saw officers with rifles heading toward the montage. He was unaware of... He was he was unheard out of the garage and has been sheltering at El Dorado since. Uh, I... You know, I, I just want to say uh, people check into this. Uh, you know, I, I have not done much research on the Vegas shooting, but the... 20 minutes of research I have done, uh, I call bullshit on the official story. So, uh, let's, uh, see if some sleuths can see if, uh, this, uh, if there's any crisis actors involved in this, I, you know, if people are, are hurt or, are dead, I, I sympathize and I pray for those families. Uh, but, I can't take anything coming from the mainstream media or any of these shootings at face value until I critically assess them and weigh in on the evidence uh, myself to, to make an informed decision. And I advise you do the same. Don't just believe what you hear or believe what you read here. 815 update. Dusty Wonderlich, a resident in the Montage in downtown Rito, said he was starting hearing shots being fired when he got home. He said the sounds of shots being fired had a sporadic over the last 30 minutes. I'm alone, he said in a text message. Oh, sorry. I'm getting tired. I have my lights turned off and listening to the scanner. I'm armed, which gave me some peace of mind. It's intense when the shots go off, but I'm trying to keep a level head. Wonderlich said he heard shots fired around 6.45 p.m. So that would be about an hour before the original uh, story broke on this uh, web page or on this this journal page. 8.30 p.m. update. Police said the suspect has been detained. Uh, 8.31. Deputy Tom Chief Robinson of the Reno Police said a team of officers went to the 8th floor of the apartment buildings to engage the shooter. Robinson said the shooter is a young adult. He said he didn't think the shooter suffered life-threatening injuries. Residents were evacuated while others sheltered in place. Robinson said it may take some time to get residents back in their rooms. Police will keep roads closed in downtown area for the time being. Let's scroll up to the 845 update. So that's uh, 14 minutes after this. Before the shooter was taken into custody, he had been firing from an east facing window of the montage complex onto Sierra Street below. It's unclear if the suspect was shooting at anything or anyone, but he had barricaded himself in the 8th floor apartment with a woman that officers are considering a hostage. 
Oh, the woman is uninjured, but the suspect was shot. Oh, sorry, I kind of keep yawning. It's, it's past my bedtime. Officers from Reno Police Department and Washoe County breached the apartment. Aside from the suspect, Robinson said at least one other person has been injured in the hand. Robinson said little is known about the suspect or his hostage, but described him as being in the mid to late 20s. It is also unclear if they were residents of the montage. He did say that the mental issues may have been a factor. Radio chatter during the incident alluded that the suspect may have been seeing things. Jill Flanserich lives on the 8th floor of the montage. She first heard gunshots when she was watching TVs. Foolishly, I opened the door. The SWAT team was there and told me to get back inside, said Flans Rage. Sorry if I, I mispronounced this. Uh, I'm not good with names. In an interview with the uh, Reno Gazette Journal, she spent the next hour hiding in a closet in her bathrobe, talking with her daughters on the phone. All right, we're going to scroll up to the uh, 9 p.m. update. Deputy Police Chief Tom Robinson said the shooter is dead. And, man, they stupid adverts. And, yeah, that just goes up to the top headline, which is uh, police. Reno's montage shooter is dead. Resident recounts hiding until police arrived. Uh, editor's note says this is a breaking news story and is being updated as new details are learned. Last update was one minute ago at the time I refreshed this page. I'm going to stop and refresh it again. Well, all right, guys. I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna go to bed. You guys have a uh, good night and God bless.